Hey guys, uh, Paul with Kiwi Apps here. Um, I decided to create a small video to let you guys know how to manually map an item. Uh, mapping an item, once again, is, uh, is a way of correlating your eBay listing with your FBA inventory so that when somebody purchases an item from eBay, the application knows what item on uh, Amazon to ship out. Normally when you list an item, it automatically creates a mapping. But let's say you have FBA inventory and you already have an eBay listing, but they're not mapped. There's nothing connecting the two. Well, we can go ahead and manually take care of that. And this is also a good place to adjust your keep at or your safeguard buffer if um, you want to go ahead and modify those values as well. So let's go and check this out. This is the this view is our inventory dashboard as you can tell by the highlighted FBA inventory up on top of the screen and click on an item. Now this is an item I know I have an eBay listing but I know it's not mapped. Well actually this one is mapped. I did a demo. I'll go ahead and delete the mapping <laughs> and we'll start over. So now there is no mapping for this guy. Click on eBay my username and then you want to go ahead and search for a keyword in the title of your eBay listing so I know for sure I got um, waddles in the title the application will search eBay there we go it found the item and it returns the eBay item number safeguard buffer 5 let's set keep at at 2 there's also little pop-ups to help you out with what these guys mean. The uh, the video camera here is delaying, there you go. Kind of has a delay with uh, the cam studio I'm using to make this recording. Anyways, go ahead and click the add button. Now you have a mapping. So when this guy sells on eBay, or gal, I guess it's a pink pig, <laughs> it will be mapped to your FBA inventory and you don't have to worry about it. The folks over at uh, Amazon will ship that out and take care of it for you. Now let's say your keypad, you want to, your keypad's at two, but you want to change it. That's fine, just click on this guy. Change it to five. Or your safeguard buffer, you want to change that to 10. That's just fine. And that's all you need to do. That way you can manually map an item, or if you want to change your keypad or your safeguard, safeguard buffer values, just go to your FBA inventory page, click on the item, and edit to whatever you like. If you have any questions, let us know. Feedback, good or bad, we appreciate it all. I'll talk to you soon.